Good evening, Theo Trade. This is Corey Rosenblum, and you're watching the Theo Nightly video for the 1st of February. Welcome to the new month here in 2022. We have earnings. We'll talk about earnings mainly through the bulk of the video. So here is earnings in play. We're going to pick up where we left off at the bell. So Google is going to be our main focus, but we're not there yet. Let's talk about UPS. So UPS had earnings, and again, just for the sake of the video, just for 10 minute segments here in Theo Trade, I don't take a look at the numbers or the earnings, but if ever you want to, and you wanna take an evening or look at, if you have positions, longer duration trades, or if you're looking to put a trade on after the earnings, you're always welcome and encouraged to go inside of the Analyze tab. You can always take a look at the fundamentals of the stock, where the earnings are, earnings per share, market cap, and anything else about the company. But for tonight's video or anything we look at earnings, you can look at earnings. They don't have them out right now because that is just the way the software updates, but you'll be able to see the past earnings, what the straddles were at the money end, what the actual, which is yellow, and the Wall Street consensus or the estimates. So that's a good way to get a sense of where the prior earnings have been. This is just to name one, Starbucks, U UPS, or UPS. Starbucks comes up in a moment. But these are what happened. These are the gaps that took place. And of course, anything that you might need to know about these prices. So that is the picking up or departure point about where to learn more about earnings. So UPS, what I'm concerned about is where are we in the price? Where is your daily chart? And anything happened after hours? Well, in the case of UPS, it reported before the bell. So it's big earnings and the conference call took place before the market opened here in Pacific time. And there is the movement up in terms of the stock that pushed it up to a new, I wanna double check this one. Is that a new, and it's a 52 week high, but is it, always to be careful, all time high, 52 week high for sure. And that's a lot of the scans that I do with you here in Theo Trade. So UPS has continued a weekly chart uptrend. It's been a strong stock getting stronger for a while. It's been sideways for the bulk of 2021 but the earnings have been a catalyst to push the stock up. And I can show you this quickly of on our scan. So which stocks are making new 52 week highs? Not the focus of the video, I promised you earnings, but ExxonMobil, UPS, ConocoPhillips, and some others. They're up there in the S&P 500 making new 52 week highs back to the earnings. So UPS is one of those candidates where the earnings push this per share above 230. And that continued that uptrend. Just saw this, got a peek of this one earlier, but this is ExxonMobil. And this is going to be, in terms of the play, not an all time high, just a weekly chart, but it's a new 52 week high. That's why it shows up here in the scan. So ExxonMobil earnings are volatile events and they can be catalyst to result in gaps. That's in part why earnings or at least butterfly trades tend to work well and if you're playing a call or a put, there's volatility concerns and surprises can occur. So it's always good to at least wait if you are putting on a position, if you need to put one on immediately, don't do it the exact day before earnings. Wait until the water gets a little more smooth or the earnings are out. Then you can position, see if that trade is still valid. And of course you can always trade anything that does not have earnings the next session. So ExxonMobil, it's earnings, which can happen before the bell, was a catalyst to keep this uptrend going. And that is in part similar. We just saw a few others, which included ConocoPhillips, but just to look at ConocoPhillips doesn't report earnings, not necessarily, but it still had a rally. I'd say a comparison rally, or at least a sympathy rally with that oil being strong. And of course, ExxonMobil. So there is ConocoPhillips, which is itself at Oh, we may have to go back and look at this one, but new 52 week highs. Okay, enough about stocks that already reported this morning. Let's talk about Starbucks. Let's get back on the daily chart. All we care about are these trends at the price levels in play and what we're gonna have to see when the market opens on Wednesday. So where are we going to start with Starbucks? What we'll see here on the daily chart is just the prior highs and lows, about 117, 118 per share. That was the most recent setup. And the little bounce or buy has failed when Starbucks played the downside. So 2020 has been a relatively rough year for Starbucks. 
on the daily chart there. There's how that plays. And it's just been downtrending, and many stocks have been downtrending, but Starbucks might not be a stock that you would associate with a weak, very, very weak 2022. You might think of tech stocks or the NASDAQ, but Starbucks actually is one of the weakest stocks that is played almost every day in January to the downside. And its earnings took the stock from $99 per share back down, at least as the moment this video is recorded, to 94. That takes Starbucks to a new, I'm gonna make sure I am good on this. That's gonna show up in our list of stocks that are making new 52 week lows. It is, and that is just barely there. But nevertheless, if you run the scan, Starbucks is a company at the moment, at least, that is on the weak stocks getting weaker. And that if it pushes and closes and goes under that on Wednesday, that is going to mark a new 52-week low. That's got to be under that 93 level. Other stocks in play will be General Motors. It's in a trading range. Many stocks are sideways at the moment. And the key levels for GM are around 49 or 50. And of course, into 58. Top of the range is about 64. Any surprises on the earnings? As the moment or at the moment, we're seeing the stock trade currently at 53.60, which is roughly where it closed. A little spike, little push, and then back to where it stopped. PayPal is also in a downtrend. Now that downtrend played for the better part before the new year. So PayPal as a stock traded from 300, almost cut in half in the last few months to 160. And just like Starbucks, a weak stock is getting weaker. A stock that is downtrending should generally, in my opinion, be shorted. A stock that is being bullish or being bought or in a strong uptrend should generally be bought. PayPal, on its earnings surprise or earnings after hours, took the share or the stock's share price from roughly 176. Currently trades at the moment about 148. That's about here. So that will take it just like Starbucks. Just like, there we are to a new, if this opens in, opens up tomorrow morning, that's going to pop up onto a list of stocks making new 52-week lows. And that is weak getting weaker in PayPal. And here's the stock you've been waiting for, Google or Alphabet. I wish I could have turned that off and surprised you. But nonetheless, a Google or Alphabet is a strong stock getting stronger, and it's been on this list for a while. Google has consistently made the top list of strong stocks getting stronger through the better part of 2021. Each time that it pushes up to a new high, 52 week high, it will come up on the list and that will be candidates to be bullish. But like anything else, Google and the other tech stocks, many of the tech stocks did have weak beginnings to the new year and a weak December in 2021. Where are we now? The stock is trading back up and rotating higher. Let's actually sneak a little glance at the weekly chart. There is our weekly trend, uh, higher highs, higher lows. At the moment, Google shares trade at 2980. Where is 2980 on this daily chart? 2980 is roughly here. And that takes us back inside this trading range. And the trading range is established from roughly the 2650 level, 2500 is the low, and about 3,000. So unless something changes overnight, the hour after the earnings have been released and the bullish movement up in Google shares, the stock will trade into the prior high. And that is a little bit similar, perhaps, to what we're seeing in Amazon when it's coming back up. That had a long-term trading range. And we are seeing a little bit of sympathy rally, perhaps, with Amazon. And they will have earnings in a couple of days. So they'll have earnings later this week. But many other stocks do as well. So always be careful and safe. Note these updated levels. Daily charts plus the end of day performance. Of course, pre-market on Wednesday and any pre-market day. At the moment, this is boosting up the NASDAQ after hours. And we'll take a quick look at that because these are playing into that market. We'll put the after hours on extended hours on and there is after the close again in part because of Google the Nasdaq is flying 
Always be careful and safe. This is Corey Rosalum with tonight's video update for February 1st, 2022.